All right, let's go with this setups here, guys and gals. All right, let's take a look at crude on uh, on our setup. All right, we know that these are our trend boxes. Our trend boxes let us know if we are consolidating or we're looking for speed to come in the market. As traders, whether you trade the futures market, the stock, the stocks, futures, currency, forex, doesn't matter what you trade, you need speed to come in the market because without speed, you're consolidating and it's hard to achieve our targets if there's no speed in the market. So what we want to do, we want to look for consolidation and then we want to look for speed. So these trend boxes are red and green. Red meaning we have selling pressure. Green meaning we have buying pressure. More importantly, what you're going to find, I have trend filters built into these trend boxes. More importantly is the width of the bar. The width of the trend boxes, I'm sorry, and the closed candles inside the trend boxes. So what we want to see, what we want to find is we want to find where did this trend start? Where are some good entries on the way down? How can I find an entry in this downtrend? How can I have a big heads up when a trade is coming? The best way to do it is let's just look at the trend boxes. If you have a large width box, meaning more than four candles that close inside of a trend box, you're consolidating or you're chop right here. So we have three back-to-back -back boxes that were more than four candles that closed inside of a closed box. What we want to do then is we want to find a when speed's coming in the market to try to get short the market in this downtrend. The rule of thumb in the trading room is less than four candles in a closed trend box is a possible setup. One or two is the best. So if I right here we went from having three back-to-back -back boxes that closed that had more than four candles that closed inside the trend box. That tells us the market is consolidating. And in consolidation, we do not want to participate. We want to wait till there's speed in the market that comes into the market. So once we get a two candle close inside of a closed trend box, this indicates the market's trying to cut loose. Now we can look for retracement trading. We can use our bottom oscillator then to look for when a retracement trade when we get above 90% for sells or below 10% for buys. So when that happens, we had two candle close inside a closed trend box. The market naturally rebounds or retraces, gets above 90%, and then here's your negative market delta or a red reversal bar. There's your entry. We had another possible just on a retracement level down here, but it was a, without a speed bar. Right here is a retracement, another entry. Then the market comes down, and look at the speed. Now we're really cutting loose. One, two, three candle close. One, two candle close. One, two candle close. One, two candle close. One, two candle close. One, two. So we had one, two, three, four, five, six speed bars that are less than four candles, more importantly, one or two. That indicates the next retracement. It should be a nice one. There it is, above 90%. And just another beautiful entry. Red close reversal bar. And there we go again. These speed bars set the whole both trades up. Speed bar, speed bar, consolidation box, consolidation bar, box into speed. And that works on all time frames and all markets. You look for consolidation boxes into speed boxes. Speed box is less than four candles that close in, closes inside of a closed box. And I was telling you, just like yesterday, same way. Look at that. Consolidation box, big consolidation box right here. There's your less than two, uh, less than four candles. I like one and two is the best. Starts a whole trend. Two big consolidation boxes right there. Less than two candles or less four candles. Two is the best. One or two. 
starts a whole move down there again. Right? So here's big consolidation box, less than four candles. You can see this is like clockwork over and over, same setup. So yesterday we just had multiple sell signals up here, same thing. Consolidation box, less than four candles. Consolidation box, has two candles. Retracement, retracement, beautiful retracements all the way down on that huge move down from 58 down in the 56s. Okay, so it works like that every single now today. We were talking about this morning. We are consolidating before this move even happened. It's telling traders in the room, what do we want to look for? Look for a speed box to get us what? Get us out of this move. Get us out of the move. Once we see that, we can see a continuation to the downside. All right? And that's what we want to do. Look for speed boxes to get us out of this consolidation and look at the move that ensues. And this works on all time frames, all markets. I don't care, ETS, stocks, futures, currency, Forex. You want to participate when there's speed. Speed tells us we're going to have a snapback and retracements for continuation patterns. All right?